Did you know that in 2019, a staggering 744 million international tourists visited Europe? That's more than double the entire population of the United States. Now that's a lot of people, isn't it? There's just something about Europe that draws in folks from all corners of the globe. Maybe it's the rich tapestry of history that's woven into every cobblestone street. Or perhaps it's the harmonious blend of old and new, where centuries-old architecture stands side by side with cutting-edge modern design. But most of all, it's the sheer diversity that Europe offers. A smorgasbord of cultures, languages, and experiences, all packed into one relatively small continent. And today we're going to zoom in on five of the most visited cities in Europe. Barcelona, Venice, Istanbul, Rome, and Paris. Each of these cities is a gem in its own right, brimming with unique attractions that promise an unforgettable journey. Barcelona, the Catalan jewel with its vibrant street life and world-renowned architecture. Venice, the floating city, where every narrow alleyway and winding canal tells a tale. Istanbul, the crossroads of east and west, a city that's as diverse as it is ancient. Rome, the eternal city, a living museum that still pulses with the heartbeat of modern Italy, and Paris, the city of lights, an enchanting metropolis that's synonymous with love, art, and fashion. From the sun-drenched beaches of Barcelona to the enchanting waterways of Venice, from the bustling bazaars of Istanbul to the ancient ruins of Rome, and from the chic boulevards of Paris to its iconic Eiffel Tower, these cities offer a kaleidoscope of experiences that cater to every type of traveler. So, whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an art lover, or just someone who enjoys soaking up the local culture, there's something for you in these cities. And with that said, it's time to embark on our journey. So buckle up as we take a virtual tour through these enchanting European cities. Imagine a city where art, culture, and the Mediterranean Sea meet. Welcome to Barcelona. Nestled on the northeastern coast of Spain, this Catalan jewel is an intoxicating blend of old and new. Barcelona, a city that dances to the rhythm of its own heartbeat, where every street and square tells a tale. Now, let's delve into what makes this city tick. Barcelona's architecture is a feast for the eyes. From the whimsical creations of Antoni Gaudi, like the enchanting Sagrada Familia and the colorful Park Güell, to the Gothic Quarter's labyrinthine streets, home to historic treasures that date back to Roman times. It's a city that wears its history with pride, but isn't afraid to embrace the modern. But Barcelona isn't just about the architecture. The Catalan language, a melodious lilt that's distinctly different from the Spanish you might know, echoes through the city streets. It's a testament to the region's fierce sense of identity. This is Catalonia, not just Spain, and Barcelona wears that distinction with pride. And let's not forget about Barcelona's world-class football team, FC Barcelona, the city's love for the sport is palpable, from the cheers echoing from Camp Nou on match days to the children playing in every park and plaza. It's more than a game here, it's a way of life. Now for some travel tips. The best time to visit Barcelona is in the spring or fall, when the weather is just right, not too hot, not too cold. And remember, Barcelona is a popular destination, so it's always a good idea to book tickets to popular attractions in advance. Whether it's for the Picasso Museum or a Barcelona FC match, a little planning goes a long way. Getting around Barcelona is a breeze, with an efficient public transport system and plenty of taxis. But the city is best explored on foot, as you never know what gem you might stumble upon around the next corner. Barcelona, a city where every corner holds a new surprise. Next, we journey to Venice, a city that floats on water, where streets are canals and cars are boats. Imagine a city where the main thoroughfare is a grand canal, where the hustle and bustle is not of cars, but of gondolas and vaporettos. This is Venice, Italy's floating city, a city built on over a hundred small islands in a lagoon, nestled in the Adriatic Sea. This is a city where the sounds of honking horns are replaced by the melodious songs of gondoliers, and the typical cityscape is transformed into a picturesque tableau of centuries-old palazzos mirrored in serene waters. Venice is home to a myriad of unique features that set it apart from other cities. The gondolas, a symbol of Venice, offer an enchanting way to navigate the city's intricate network of canals. 
These flat-bottomed rowing boats, traditionally used as a means of transportation, are now a popular choice for those seeking a romantic and leisurely tour of the city. Another Venetian spectacle is the annual Carnival of Venice, a festival known for its elaborate masks and costumes. It's a time when the city transforms into a grand stage and everyone becomes a performer. The streets fill with vibrant colors, music, and an infectious energy that can only be experienced, never described. When planning your visit, consider the off-peak season. Venice can be crowded during the summer months, but visiting in late fall or early spring can offer a more relaxed and intimate experience. And while you're there, don't miss out on the local food. Cicchetti, similar to Spanish tapas, are small servings of food served in traditional bacari or bars. These bite-sized snacks are a culinary adventure, with each Baccaro offering its own unique selection. Venice, with its labyrinthine canals, iconic gondolas, and vibrant carnival, is more than just a city. It's a living, breathing work of art, a testament to human ingenuity and an ode to the enduring romance of Italy. Venice, a city that captures your heart and never lets it go. Crossing bridges to Istanbul, where the continents of Europe and Asia meet, Istanbul, a city that is a living, breathing testament to the ebb and flow of civilizations. It's where you'll find yourself swept up in the rhythm of a city that's been dancing to its own beat for over 2,000 years. Let's start with history, because in Istanbul, history isn't just something you read about in textbooks. It's the cobblestones beneath your feet in the old town of Sultanahmet. The echoes of the Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman empires that still resonate in the walls of the Hagia Sophia and the minarets of the Blue Mosque soaring into the sky, a beacon of faith that stood for more than four centuries. But Istanbul is not only about the past, it's a city that pulses with the vibrancy of the present. It's in the lively banter of traders in the Grand Bazaar, a maze of over 3,000 shops where you can haggle for everything from Turkish rugs to hand-painted ceramics. It's in the aroma of freshly brewed Turkish tea wafting through the air. A must-try for anyone visiting the city. And Istanbul is where East meets West, not just geographically, but in its very fabric. It's a city where you can hear the call to prayer over the din of traffic, where modern skyscrapers stand alongside centuries-old mosques, and where you can taste the fusion of flavors in its cuisine, from the spicy heat of kebabs to the sweet delight of baklava travel tip for you, don't leave without taking a Bosphorus cruise. The strait that separates Europe from Asia offers stunning views of the city's skyline and is a testament to Istanbul's unique position as a bridge between continents. Istanbul, a city that's a testament to the harmonious chaos of cultural fusion, it's a city that invites you to lose yourself in its labyrinthine streets to immerse yourself in its rich tapestry of cultures and to discover a city where the past and present coexist in a dance as timeless as the city itself. Istanbul, a city that's a testament to the harmonious chaos of cultural fusion. Our next stop is Rome, a city where history lives in every stone. Known as the Eternal City, Rome is a living testament to the grandeur of the Roman Empire, the artistry of the Renaissance, and the charm of contemporary Italy. As you wander through the city, you'll find yourself walking in the footsteps of emperors and gladiators. The Colosseum, once the site of legendary gladiatorial contests, stands as a symbol of Rome's ancient might. Nearby, the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill offer glimpses into the daily life of Rome's ancient inhabitants. Yet Rome isn't just a city of the past. It's a city that's alive and vibrant, where the old and the new blend seamlessly. Stroll through the bustling piazzas and you'll find modern cafes nestled alongside centuries-old basilicas. One such place is the Vatican City, an independent state within Rome and the spiritual home of the Catholic Church. Here you'll find the awe-inspiring St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums, home to a vast collection of art and historical artifacts. Amidst all this history and culture, don't forget to indulge in Rome's culinary delights. From simple yet delicious Roman pizza to the rich flavors of pasta alla carbonara, Rome's cuisine reflects its rich and varied history. For those planning a visit, remember to pack comfortable shoes as Rome is a city best explored on foot. 
And don't forget the old tradition of tossing a coin into the Trevi Fountain. Legend has it that doing so ensures your return to this magical city. From its ancient ruins to its vibrant contemporary life, Rome is a city that continues to captivate and inspire. Whether you're a history buff, a food lover, or simply a traveler in search of beauty and charm, Rome has something to offer. Rome, where the past and present coexist in perfect harmony. Our final destination is Paris, the city that embodies romance and elegance. Ah, Paris. The very name conjures up images of stunning architecture, timeless art, and chic fashion. It's a city that's been the muse of countless poets and artists, and for good reason. Let's start with the Eiffel Tower, an iconic symbol of Paris. This iron lattice tower, standing more than 300 meters tall, is a marvel of 19th century engineering. Whether you choose to ascend it or simply admire it from afar, the Eiffel Tower is a must-see when in Paris. Now, on to the fashion. Paris is often hailed as the fashion capital of the world. From the haute couture houses of Chanel and Dior to the trendy boutiques in Le Marais, the city is a sartorial playground for fashion enthusiasts. Whether you're a dedicated follower of fashion or simply enjoy window shopping, the city's fashion scene is a feast for the eyes. But let's not forget the cuisine. Paris is a gastronomic paradise offering everything from Michelin-starred restaurants to quaint local bistros. Be sure to sample some traditional French dishes such as escargot, coco vin, and creme brulee. And of course, no visit to Paris would be complete without a fresh, flaky croissant from a local bakery. If you're a lover of art and history, Paris has you covered. The city is home to world-renowned museums like the Louvre and the Musée d'Orsay. Here's a travel tip. Most museums in Paris offer free admission on the first Sunday of the month. So if you time your visit right, you can soak up all that art and culture without spending a penny. And finally, when it comes to dining, don't be afraid to venture away from the main tourist areas. Some of the best meals can be found in local bistros tucked away in the city's charming back streets. Paris, a city that never fails to enchant and inspire. Whether it's the twinkle of the Eiffel Tower at night, the buzz of the fashion scene, or the delight of a perfectly baked baguette, Paris truly is a city of lights. Europe, a continent that offers a buffet of cultures, languages, and experiences, a veritable feast for the senses where every corner turned reveals a new story, a new memory waiting to be made. We've journeyed together through five of its most iconic cities, each with its own unique charm and allure. Barcelona, the Catalan Jewel, where the vibrancy of life is reflected in the Gaudi-inspired architecture, the lively markets, and the diverse range of culinary delights. We've learned that a little Spanish goes a long way here and that the best times to visit are in the spring and fall to avoid the tourist rush. Then there's Venice, the floating city, a place where time seems to stand still, and the gentle lapping of water against the gondolas provides a soothing soundtrack to your explorations. Remember, getting lost in the labyrinthine alleys is part of the charm and sampling the local seafood is a must. Istanbul, where east meets west, has served as a cultural crossroads for centuries. Here we've discovered the importance of dressing modestly when visiting religious sites and the joy of haggling in the bustling Grand Bazaar. In Rome, the eternal city, we've walked in the footsteps of the ancients, marveling at the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. We've learned that it's best to purchase tickets in advance to avoid long lines and to always leave room for gelato. And finally, Paris, the city of lights. A city to fall in love with, whether it's the art at the Louvre, the view from the Eiffel Tower, or the simple pleasure of a croissant in a sidewalk cafe. We've discovered that exploring the city by foot or bike is the best way to soak in its charm. In each of these cities, we've also learned the importance of respecting local cultures and traditions. Remember, we are guests in these places and it's our responsibility to travel with respect and understanding. So, with these cities calling your name, where would you choose to jet off to first?